Welcome to the Straight Talk on Fleet podcast with Aaron Gilchrist. Each week, Aaron will be breaking down fleet management, trying to cut through the noise and get down to the real issues safety and operations leaders are struggling with every day. The goal will be to get to the bottom of how leaders can break down these silos of information, accelerate change management, how to use real-time accurate data to drive massive efficiencies across fleet-focused business processes, and to elevate people's careers with emerging best practices. Now it's time for the Straight Talk on Fleet. Hello again, Fleet community. We are back for another episode of the Straight Talk on Fleet. I am Erin Gilchrist. I am VP of Evangelism at IntelliShift. And on my podcast, I try to be your objective and reliable source of information for the fleet ecosystem based on real experience that comes from managing an enterprise fleet for over 15 years. Fleet management is tough, but we will break it down fleet manager style with a focus on everything from driver behavior and compliance to getting more from our internal and external data and our partners. So in today's podcast, we're digging into the topic of switching technology and technology providers in our fleets. So fun topic, right? Something that I think we all struggle with, something that we don't want to do, but we know is is necessary sometimes. So I think in today's fleet technology marketplace, there's just a slew of providers and they promise great things, great solutions at reasonable prices, and they fail to deliver. And despite these failures and the pain of changing providers and tech just really leaves fleet managers reeling. So we stay. Why do we do that? Maybe we're comfortable. But how much more comfortable would we be if we had the best solutions for our fleet, right? To help us be safe and efficient every day. We stay because of the effort it takes to go through this entire process, right? Of finding the right partners again, talking to referrals, scheduling supplier presentations, building out pilots, you know, et cetera. Maybe we're in long-term contracts, the CapEx. We think about the CapEx for this new hardware, the backend integration piece. And then there's that physical task, right? Of removing and reinstalling hardware, learning new software, building your suite of things like dashboards and reports and scorecards and communication. So herein lies the pain, right? So I would challenge you, I challenge myself, I would challenge you that the real pain is staying where you are and and settling for the solutions, the tech, the relationships and results that are not working for your organization today and keeping you from achieving what's possible in fleet and driver safety. So if you found yourself in this position, um, I'm sure you have from time to time of failing tech or failing partnerships and results take action now, right? You can't begin until you begin, right? So get after it. Let's do it. So let's talk about sort of the how, right? And then we're going to dig in to hopefully everything you want to talk about on this topic today, but I invite you to comment, ask questions, you know, join the conversation. So let's talk about how. I think first off is socialize the pain, right? Define your problems. The second thing, define the cost to stay with your subpar provider, that cost of inaction. We've talked about the cost of inaction before. It really matters. It's like the the cost of doing the wrong thing, the cost of not doing vehicle inspections. This cost of inaction with a subpar provider can be defined. Three, review your contract or contracts and outline those end dates for the hardware and you know with the associated costs of those things. Four, use those pain points to develop the right questions for prospective partners so you don't end up in the same place that you're in now, right? The fifth thing, fleet and operations managers should look for the following things when they're looking for that modern and integrated solution in four categories, right? So technology, access to data, partnership with third-party partners, and security. So think about a modern and integrated solution. Think about those four categories and then take yourself through this checklist of of questions. And again, like I'm happy to provide these things to you as we cover them. So I'm going to run down these questions. Does it provide a solution for all your technology needs across asset types in your fleet? 
Is it configurable to your unique business needs? Is it easy even for non-tech savvy personnel to use, right? That's really important. Think about all the people in the organization that will be touching this and will everybody be able to interact with it and get from it what they need? Okay, does it report in real time with accurate and reliable data? Does it have an API to integrate with your back office systems and data sources? It's a biggie. What are those other back office systems that you'd like to integrate with your fleet and operational data? So that's a, that's a great one on the checklist to think about and make sure that, that you're able to do that in one way or another. Does it provide cross-functional insights? Does it coordinate your company's assets and mobile, mobile workforce? And does it help stakeholders gain a comprehensive view of the health and profitability and productivity, right? That's really, really important. Is it built with a future in mind? So is it configured with your future in mind? And finally, is it secure? So that checklist, again, happy to provide it. It covers those four areas of technology, access to data, partnership with third-party providers and security right? So let's stop for a second on our list of the hows, right? We ended up at number five, right? With this checklist, things to think about. But before we dig into the other steps, let's stop and talk about for a second, the three types of solutions in the market today. Okay. So the first one is individual point solutions. These are good because there are many of them and they're specialized for one specific thing. But the downsides are siloed data, swivel chair integration. I think you all know what that is. I think fleet managers experience that. More expensive, there are more contracts and SLAs to manage. And if you're not doing SLAs, you should be. That's a whole nother podcast, but service level agreements, more logins and more training. So again, individual point solutions, solve for something they really do but the downsides are just too many things to think about and going to a lot of different places for information okay second type of solution is a lightly integrated solution basically it's a point solutions that resell other tech right they are good because they may provide like a single sign-on into different software portals and they may integrate with the point solutions you use today but the downsides are mostly siloed data. Sometimes they're tacked on. The provider might not own the technology. There's limited control of the customer experience, not presenting holistic and actionable data, which is a big one we'll talk about more. And you know, you are still doing more work to make sense of everything, right? And this is the common theme for fleet managers today this swivel chair sort of management. So the third solution is a single connected platform. And by the way, this type of solution is the now. It is the next, it is the future. <laughs> I mean, the only real reason not to do this is if you or your business are not willing or ready to allow, or maybe your business isn't ready to allow you to shift the way that you manage your fleet tech stack which I mean, fight for, fight for what you believe in, fight for what you know will win for you and for your fleet and for your organization. But again, there's no real reason not to do this. So what are some more of the, the pros here for the single connected platform? Reduce time and effort for pulling together data from multiple solutions, like the two that I mentioned already. Better customer experience, working through a single vendor who can get to know you and grow with you and maybe create new things in their environment that you ask for. Imagine that, okay? You buy what you need, you get what you pay for, right? Stacked ROI, guaranteed ROI. So this type of solution will be the one that makes all the pain of switching technology and technology providers worth it and put you in a position to not to have to go through this pain again. So again, the goal here is power and ease of use, right? So power, the ability to integrate large data sets from multiple sources and process it for your desired outcomes and naturally improve all aspects of your fleet operations. I talked about this 
in episode nine. I talked about this in episode 10. I think I might have talked about this in nearly all of the episodes, this idea of, hey, let's get our data in one place. Let's make it easy to use. So that power is getting that data, pulling large data sets in and, and gleaning all kinds of awesome insights for you. And then ease of use. How digestible and usable is it? How easily can you access the data, right? You, you need to be able to access the data. A relevant data for your entire organization customized by user and role. So remember, we talked about on the checklist that we talked about a little, a few minutes ago, that no matter who in your organization is going to interact with the data, the outcomes, the actual system, the actual software, it needs to be easy. So again, ease of use is not just for you and your team, but for anybody in the organization that might touch it. Okay. So again, that's a little bit more about the types of solutions, but what I'm recommending here is a single connected platform, right? Just hands down. So getting back to the how, all right, let's just do a quick recap and, and round this out. So socialize the, the pain and define the problems Two. Define the cost to stay with your subpar provider. Three, review your contract or contracts. Outline the end dates for hardware with associated costs, right? Four, use your pain points to develop the right questions for prospective partners so you make sure you cover those off and you're not back in the same position you're in now. Five, focus on those four categories in a new solution that I talked about technology, access to data, partnerships with third-party providers and security. And remember that checklist. Again, happy to provide any and all of this to you. Okay, so that's where we left off before I jumped into the, the solution stuff. All right, so six, don't lose traction when you make a switch, right? Make sure you can bring with you historical data about your fleet. And that's where that connected platform comes in, right? You need to be able to bring in historical data, relevant data, like fuel, fuel data and fueling behavior data, very important vehicle inspection data, maintenance history, driver behavior. I think also data and insights that you've gleaned from a previous camera solution, like distracted driving tr trends and results by driver, or maybe by region, area, market, business unit however your fleet is configured. So don't lose traction when you make the switch, bring that data along. Number seven, use a qualified installer to deinstall and reinstall if necessary, your new vehicle technology. So on that note, I would highly recommend that if you're moving to a new provider, it's the best to, thing to migrate to the new provider's hardware as soon as possible. There is pulling that historical data and there are things you can do in the interim, but let's not put lipstick on a pig, right? Out with the old and with the new. Really jump in. Um, that's how these things happen. That's how ROIs happen quicker. That's how you prove out your new tools and technologies and your new partnership. So proprietary hardware, customized for your business needs, faster and more insightful analysis, speedy ROI, making the change, getting your data in one place to start gaining the benefits of the new solution. So use that qualified installer, deinstall and reinstall, and then, you know, move to that new hardware as soon as you can. And again, these new providers should be helping you outline how you can do that. So you think about those contracts and it's not just about, Hey, how do we install and reinstall or deinstall and reinstall? It's all about how can we make this work for you? So we, the new provider, can get our better proprietary hardware into your assets and, and, and helping you and making money right now, right? So really, you know, that partnership and selection is, is really important. And then eight, last but not least, comes this whole project management process, right? So in podcast five, I outline project and change management. So I would encourage you to listen or watch to podcast five, it really digs into not just what change management's about in your role in that, but the project aspect of it. So how do you like get it done? So 
you know, using these seven steps and then eight is really going back and saying, okay, let me, let me start a new project. And, and how do I do that? So the highlights, right? So identify the problem that needs to be solved. No, you're not alone, right? Develop that initial communication, which we talked about already today. Bring together those key players and decision makers to help you tell your story and to be your partner all the way through on this project and every other, right? Conduct a pilot or pilots. Communicate early and often on your pilot results. Prepare for that next level meeting with leadership, C-suite, by using the sound method that you've already created. And really that lets your organizations know what they should come to expect from you and this team that you put together, right? So seal that deal and get moving on being the hero in your organization and you know getting the credit that you deserve as a fleet manager. So while I promise that switching providers will not be the easiest thing to socialize within your organization, if it needs to happen, waiting could cost you so much more than the pain of making the move. Your reputation, your results, more accidents, whatever it is that's causing you the pain, it will not decrease by staying with the current provider that you have that's causing the pain, right? Like it just, that it doesn't make any sense. So again, not easy, but has to happen. And at the end, so worth it. And it bears repeating. If the goal is to move to a new partner who has better tools and better technology, maybe better pricing, ultimately the best ROI, put yourself in a position to never have to do this again, right? So remember, I mean, data is our best friend. It does not lie. Make sure you have the right partners to bring your visions to life through data analytics, storytelling, fleet intelligence tools that grow with you. So it's not about, hey, we're just moving to this new device that's going to do X, Y, Z. It's the whole package. Find that partner who can make it easy for you to make this move, but also make it easy by providing to you the best hardware, the best software, ROI analysis, price, and a project plan to replace that old tech, right? And as I always say, you know, at this point, should be shifting from siloed systems and data and moving to a single connected and integrated platform. And I think, you know, as time goes on and, and we continue to have conversations in this fleet community, and by the way, this is just my dream to be able to do this every week and bring you content. And I just can't wait to have more of you join me to talk about what you're doing. But again, I'm going to continue to, to beat on this point of getting away from siloed systems and data, moving to single connected and integrated platforms, right? Complete with dashboards and alerts and reports that make powerful int fleet intelligence possible, not only possible, but simple. It can be done. And I'd love to talk more about it. So, you know, join in, comment, tell me what you're doing. Message me, come on my podcast. Let's talk about this. But I do hope you've enjoyed today's content, talking about switching fleet technology and technology providers, not easy, but it is a critical business strategy. It's not just like, oh, something we have to do. Switching tech and providers is a critical business strategy when your current partner isn't cutting it. So again, if you found this content helpful, share it with your community, like, and subscribe wherever you get your favorite content. And until next time, keep it real, keep it safe for fleet's sake. And thanks for listening. Oh.